He's on the O-line for Alabama State. Love starting at left tackle with Jenkins at left guard for Alabama State. Toppings looking left once again, throws high, incomplete. Third down and two coming up. That pass intended for Hannah. So Love, Sam Jenkins, Kerry Williams, Robert Rockamore, Chase Nixon, the O-line for Alabama State. Third down, two coming up. Two receivers left, two right. Need a good first down here to get the offense with some momentum. Handoff, Anderson trying to get to the 25. He does. Should have enough for a first down forward progress just across the 25, but a very good third down conversion for Alabama State to get the first down. Going on the tackle for Grambling. First and 10, Alabama State from our 25-yard line. Again, same formation, two receivers left, two right. Anderson flips to the right side of Toppings, takes the high snap, throws left on the screen, caught. Short gain to about the 28. Hannah on the catch. Gain of three for the Hornets. Tackle by Jackson. Second down and seven coming up. Great energetic crowd on hand here at ASU Stadium. Prince Hall Mason's Americanism Football Classic, also Connection Day on the ASU campus for aspiring high school students. Topping, space the handoff, has plenty of time, throws over the middle, incomplete, just knocked away from Barnes at the last second. Knocked away by a, perhaps Stallworth on that, 29, third down coming up for Alabama State, third and seven from the 28-yard line. Three receivers right, one left for the Hornets. Alex Anderson offset left of Toppings. Has the snap, looking left, has time, throws, but the flag on the play prior to the snap appears to be offsides versus Grambling. Offside, 91, defense with contact, five-yard penalty, third down. Tigers a highly penalized team so far in 2015. That officially their 20th penalty, more than 200 yards, so plus five for the Hornets brings up a very manageable third down and two from the 33-yard line. Three receivers right, tight end offset to the left. Anderson powering to the first down across the 35 to the 36-yard line. First and 10, Alabama State. Joshua Davis comes in. Barnes comes out. Another third down conversion on first. Another first down conversion for Alabama State on the third down plate. Two receivers left, two right. Anderson offset right of Toppings. Henderson going in motion. Toppings back to pass. Has time. Throws. Caught at midfield. First down for Alabama State. Catch made by Joshua Davis. Gain of 14 for the Hornets. Officially spotted at the Hornet 49, so give him 13. And now they'll move it just across midfield to the Grambling 49. Gain of 15, first and 10 for Alabama State. Hornets on the move. Three receivers right. Three receivers left, pardon me, one right. Anderson offset right of toppings. Henderson once again in motion. Anderson with the handoff. Short gain to about the Tiger 47, gain of two. Tackle made by Stalling, but gain of two on the play. Second down, eight coming up. Eight forty and counting, first quarter, no score. First offensive series for Alabama State, Hornets on the move. Three receivers right, one left. Toppings with time. Good protection in the pocket. He moves to his right. He'll take off. Flag on the play. Toppings across the 30 down to 26-yard line. But there is a flag in the backfield of Alabama State. Usually not a good sign in that area of holding. Holding. 72 offense. 10-yard penalty. Second down. They get the right tackle, a right guard, pardon me, Robert Rockamore for the holding penalty. 
Negates a great run by Toppings. Saddle back us up 10 from the spot of that penalty. They'll put the football down at the Hornet 42-yard line. Line to gain is the Grambling 39. Three receivers right, one left. Toppings getting the signals from the sideline. Toppings making his first start for Alabama State. The junior from Pritchard, Alabama. Takes a fake. He'll take a shot downfield trying. Pass intercepted, intended for Davis, but there was a flag. We'll see what the indication is. I think he threw it to a spot. Initial indication, pass interference versus Grambling. I'd like to see Toppings throw that ball closer to the sideline away from the inside protection, but works out for the Hornets in this instance. Pass interference, number three, defense. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot, first down. Dwight Amy called for the P.I., first and 10 for the Hornets. Has the ball back in Grambling territory at the 43-yard line, 7.52 to play in the first quarter, no score. Three receivers left, one right. Anderson in the backfield, offset right. Henderson in motion, topping, space the handoff. Rolls right, hits Anderson, or Henderson rather, brought down in the backfield the 45, loss of two on the plate. Second down, 12 coming up. I believe it was Pouncy on the tackle, second down, 12 coming up from the Grambling 45, midway through the first quarter, no score. Two receivers left, one right. Barnes, tight end on the right side of the formation. Toppings, drops back, throws, caught. Hannah, near the 40, will give him progress to the 40. Gain of about five, brings up third down, and we'll call it seven for the Hornets with 7.07 and counting in the first quarter. This drive started at the Hornet 15, following the false start on the punt by Grambling. Big third down here, three receivers left, one right. Anderson offset right, toppings with the snap, has time, throws, complete, Hannah, 30, 25, 20, brought down the 19-yard line, first down Alabama State. Great crossing route by Hannah, moving from right to left across the formation, Good job by Toppings, giving the play time to develop. Nice catch and run there. Gain of about 21 to the Tiger 19-yard line. Hornets in the red zone for the first time today. Trying to score in the first possession for the third straight game in 2015. Two receivers right, one left. Barnes, tight end left. Anderson, running back, offset right. Davis in motion. Anderson, handoff, up the middle, great gain inside the 15 to about the 12-yard line. Gain of about seven on the play. Another Williams on the tackle for Grambling, but a good seven-yard gain for Alabama State. To the 12-yard line. Hornets in the red zone, looking to score first for the third time this season. Pritchett on the move. Trying to get to the 10. Late flag on the play. Holding. Holding. 62 offense. 10 yard penalty. Second down. They'll get right tackle Chase Dixon for the holding penalty this time. Replay. First down. So the play originally was second down and four. After the initial run, the initial play was second down. So officially second down. Second down. All right, all mines, all mines clear. Second down, 537 counting in the first quarter. Three receivers right, one left for the Hornets. Second down and 13 coming up. Toppings with the snap, looking left, throws. Incomplete flag on the plate. 
Could have an injured Tiger down on the field. There's a flag appears to be offsides once again versus Grambling State. Injured Tiger number 91. Outside. Donovan McCray. Defense. Five yard penalty. Still. Second down. So we'll step aside for the injury timeout. 524 to play in the first quarter. No score here on the ASU Hornet Sports Network. The wheels of progress haven't been very active lately. But because of business people like you, things are beginning to get rolling. And Regions is here to help. Making it easier with the expertise and service to keep those wheels turning. From business loans to succession planning, we want to be your partner moving forward. So switch to Regions and let's get going together. Move. Drive started nearly six minutes ago. Hornets now with seven left. Toppings in the shotgun for the Hornets. Will fake to Anderson. Throwing right. Pass batted down. Incomplete. Third down and eight coming up. Pass batted down at the line of scrimmage. So third and eight coming up for Alabama State. The pass is ruled incomplete. So third and eight for the Hornets with 5.17 to play in the first quarter. Three receivers right, one left. Anderson offset left of the quarterback, Toppings. In the pocket, looking, he'll take off and run. Hit at the 15, hit twice, he'll be stood up there. Short gain on the play. Fourth down coming up for Alabama State. That'll bring on David Albert for the field goal attempt for the Hornets. Right in the center of the field, a 33-yard attempt. Albert, the freshman from Grand Prairie, Texas. Henderson, the holder. Spot is down, kick is up, and it is good. With 4.34 to play in the first quarter, it's Alabama State 3, Grambling State nothing. You're listening to the ASU Hornet Sports Network. Show your Banner State spirit by supporting Hornet Pride 365, a great giving initiative that supports your ASU student athletes. For more information and to give, visit BannerStateSports.com forward slash Hornet Pride 365. Want your next printing project to have a happy ending? Go see Mickwick Printing Company in Montgomery, Auburn, Tuskegee, or Wetumpka today or visit them online at mickwickprinting.com. They have award-winning designers, friendly and knowledgeable sales staff, excellent customer service, and of course, quality printing, signage, and promotional products. McQuick, printing everything except money. McQuick Printing Company, a proud sponsor of ASU. Support the team that supports your Hornets.
Hornets lead by a score of 3 0. Graham returns the kickoff to about the 28 yard line. So a great scoring drive for Alabama State ends with the field goal by Albert as the Hornets lead by a score of 3 0. Second possession for this Grambling State offense. Jonathan Williams at quarterback for the Tigers. Three receivers right, one left. He's looking right, throws across the middle, incomplete, thrown behind Domino. Second down and 10 coming up for the Tigers. So 3 nothing Alabama State lead with 420 to play in the first quarter. Two receivers left, two right for the Tigers. Williams looking left, throws, caught across the 40, tripped up, ball loose, but he's ruled down at the 40-yard line. First down for the Tigers. Catch made by Chad Williams. Had a big game last week There's versus no Cookman. The run is ruled down by contact. First down. So first and 10 at the 40. For Grambling State, 4-10 and counting in the first quarter. 3-0 Alabama State lead. Run outside across the 45, still dancing. Good physical, elusive run by Martez Carter to the 46th gain of six on the play. Gain of six will give it seven. Ball just outside the Tiger 47-yard line. Second down and three coming up. Two receivers right, two left for Williams, who will give the Carter up the middle across midfield to the Alabama State 45-yard line. Gain of about seven. He'll put the ball at the Hornet 45-yard line. First and 10 for Grambling. And a timeout called by Alabama State head coach Brian Jenkins. Timeout. Alabama State. First charge, timeout. So the Hornets get going on the first drive again for the third straight game, this time ending with a field goal as Albert converts from 33 as the Hornets lead by a score of 3 nothing with 3.06 to play in the first quarter. Again, great crowd on hand for the second annual Prince Hall Masons Americanism Football Classic. Second year, ASU has partnered with the Masons on this great game to provide scholarships for Alabama State University students. Education always at the fore of all initiatives for Alabama State. Glad to partner with the Masons for the second straight year looking to grow this game and more importantly, their benefit to the ASU community. So after the timeout, Tigers back on the field, first and 10 from the Alabama State 45-yard line, 3.06 to play in the first quarter, 3 nothing Hornet lead. Carter trying to run right across the 45, physical run at the end, across the 35, should have enough for a grambling first down. Bowser on the tackle for the Hornets. Actually, they'll give him nine on the carry to the Hornet 36. So gain of nine, second down and one. Tigers starting to get the running game going, particularly big chunks of yardage on first down. Two receivers left, two right, both stacked. Carter in the eye behind Williams. Carter on the run, hitting the backfield, spins free, gets across the 35, has enough for a Tiger first down. Gallmer had a chance in the backfield to stop him from getting that first down, but Carter spun away from the initial hit to the Alabama State 34-yard line. So first and 10, Grambling, 215 and counting in the first quarter. Receivers stacked on either side. 
Carter offset left in the backfield with Williams, who has the snap. Looking right, throws downfield, and it is nearly intercepted. Great defensive play on the far side for Alabama State. Kenyon Davis with great coverage on the play. Got in between himself and the Tiger receiver, Verlin Hunter, on the far side. Great coverage by Kenyon Davis. Second down and 10 coming up. Great play by the red shirt sophomore from DeLand, Florida. Second down, 10, with exactly two minutes to play in the first quarter. 3-0, Alabama State lead. Two receivers left, two right. Williams in the pocket, rolling right, trying to buy some time. He will take off, hit out of bounds. Should be for a short loss. Forced out by Washington. Loss of two to the Alabama State 36-yard line. Third down and 12 coming up. Three receivers left for the Tigers, one right. Third and 12 for Grambling. Hornets looking to end this drive. Williams with the pocket. Screen left. Pass caught. Hit. Brought down to 28-yard line. Catch made by Hunter, but short of a Grambling first down. We'll see how the Tigers play it here. Jenkins with the initial hit for Alabama State. Fourth down and four from the Grambling 20, for the, from the Hornet. 28-yard line, Tiger offense still on the field with 120 and counting in the first quarter. One receiver left, bunch formation right. Tigers looking to go. Kelly in the backfield, offset left. Williams with the snap, throws far side, incomplete, turned over to the Hornets. Great defensive stand for Alabama State. Stopping the Tigers on downs with 102 to play in the first quarter. So once again, this Alabama State defense coming up big in the early going. Second offensive possession, possession for Alabama State coming up with 102 to play in the quarter. Hornets lead by a score of 3 to nothing. Three receivers left, one right. Toppings looking right. Hitting the backfield, he'll be dropped for a loss. Back to the Hornet 24-yard line. It appears that Malcolm Williams, a lot of Williams on this Grambling State roster. Loss of four back to the Hornet 24, second down, 14 coming up. With 40 seconds and counting in the first quarter. Again, three receivers left, one right. Anderson in the backfield, offset right of Toppings, making his first career start. Has a snap, throws across the middle, incomplete. Pass thrown behind Joe Williams, third down and 14 coming up with 27 seconds to play in the first quarter. So same formation from the Hornets offensively. Tiger showing that familiar 3-3-5. Hornet offensive line doing a good job thus far, keeping the pocket clean. Toppings with a flag on the play, looking right. Throws, deflected, incomplete, pass intended for Williams. Broken up by 48, Pouncey, but a flag on the play. Illegal formation. Number 62, five men in the backfield. That penalty is declined. Fourth down. So right tackle Chase Dixon not far enough up on the line of scrimmage deemed in the backfield by the officials three and out for the Alabama State offense with 20 seconds to play in the first quarter Trevor Vincent on to punt for Alabama State McLean to receive the punt for Gramlin Nice punt by Vincent. Will be fair caught at the 35-yard line with 13 seconds to play in the first quarter. So a good start in all phases for this Alabama State team. With a 3-0 lead with 13 seconds to play in the first quarter of this, the second annual Prince Hall Masons Americanism Football Classic, a full weekend of events 
here in Montgomery. Great crowd on hand. Also, Connection Day for aspiring high school students looking at Alabama State University for their collegiate education. Two receivers left, one right for the Tigers. Tight end left for Gramlin. Running back offset left or right. Williams on the keeper. Gain of about three to the 38-yard line. Tackle made by Henderson on what is the final play of the first quarter. It's Alabama State three and Grambling State nothing here on the ASU Hornet Sports Network. Wild Wing Sports Cafe and East Dale Mall is proud to be a part of the ASU family. The mission of Wild Wings is simple, to serve the Montgomery community with a quality product and great service. We look forward to Hornet Nation joining us each week for great football and great food. And join us each Thursday for the Wild Wings Swarm and Sting ASU Football Coaches Show. Wild Wings at East Dale Mall. Support the team that supports your Hornets. Second quarter action here at the ASU Stadium. Alabama State leads Grambling by a score of 3 0. Second down and seven for the Tigers. We'll call it six from the 39. Williams has time. Scrambling. Throws. Complete across midfield on the run into Grambling territory. Catch made by Chester Rogers down to the Alabama State 27 yard line. Gain of about 36 on that play. First and 10 Grambling from the Hornet 28-yard line. We'll call it the 27. Very explosive Grambling offense on the move. Three receivers left, one right. Williams moving left. He will keep it. Across the 25, across the 20. Has the first down to the Alabama State 13-yard line. Gain of 14 on that run. Hornet head coach Brian Jenkins compared Williams as a shorter version of Alcorn quarterback John Gibbs. Very similar skill set according to Jenkins, just a few inches shorter. And we're seeing that athleticism here on this drive early in the second quarter. Stack formation for Grambling, two receivers left and right. Kelly in the backfield, offset right of Williams. Who has the snap. Looking left, throws, end zone, incomplete. He threw the out route. Hunter, the receiver, ran an in route. Second down and 10 coming up. Second down, 10 for the Tigers. From the Hornet, 14. Two receivers left, two right. Kelly offset right. Williams calling signals. Has the snap in the pocket. Throws across the middle, wide open. End zone, touchdown for Berlin Hunter. So got free on the crossing route underneath. And the Tigers score and take the lead here with exactly 14 minutes to play in the first half. On for the extra point is Orozco. Kick is up, and it is good with 14 minutes to play until halftime. It's Grambling 7, Alabama State 3 here on the ASU Hornet Sports Network. 
We supply over 44,000 square miles of Alabama with electricity every day. We're there no matter what, because our state needs us. And more importantly, you need us. We're dedicated to keeping your power flowing even in the face of extreme weather or even more extreme federal mandates. Dedication. That's how we bring power to Alabama. Alabama Power. Always on. minutes to play in the first half. Grambling takes his first lead by a score of 7-3 on the touchdown pass from Williams, 200. Orozco to kick off for Grambling once again. Kickoff will go to Shawan Parks, who will bring it out of the end zone. Across the 10, Hush Puppy on the move. Hit at the 20-yard line, brought down at the 22. So good return for Parks and the Hornets as we'll take over at the 22-yard line. Tackle made that time by Pouncey. So the Hornets go back on the offensive third series of the game. Quintarius Toppings making his first start. Led the Hornets to a field goal on our first possession, three and out on the second offensive possession. Two receivers left, one right. Barnes, tight end, offset right. Robinson in that running back. Fakes pass thrown to Hannah. Tackle at the 27-yard line. Gain of about five for Alabama State. Williams in, Hannah out for the Hornets. Same formation. Again, Stanley Robinson offset left, number 22. Quick throw, upended after a short catch by Joshua Davis. Jackson on the tackle. Correction, Barnes on that catch for Alabama State. Very short gain to the Hornet 29-yard line. Third down and three coming up for Alabama State. Hornets going big. Two receivers right, two tight ends left. Robinson goes in motion to the right. Quarterback keeper, first down, but flag on the play. Toppings out of bounds, two flags on the play. Knocked out at the 46. Two flags on the play. We'll see how they rule it. Actually, three flags on the play. Two at the line of scrimmage. One downfield about the 36-yard line. Roger Holloway and his staff have been busy so far in the contest. As they huddle at the 30-yard line. And here's the breakdown. There are two fouls on the play. Offside, 54, defense, holding, 89, offense. Those penalties offset, third down. So Titus Howard with the holding downfield for Alabama State, grounding offsides once again. So basically a no play. We'll do it again. Third down and three from the Hornet 29. So we'll change the formation. Two receivers right, one left. Tight end left for Alabama State. Robinson offset left of Toppings, the quarterback. 
Davis in motion. Toppings with the snap. Quick throw. Caught incomplete in and out of the hands of Davis. Thrown a little bit behind him based on the Grambling State pressure. So the Hornets will be forced to punt. So Vincent on to punt. For Alabama State, back to receive McLean for the Tigers. Low kick caught by McLean at his 33, trying to find some room. Brought down at the 36-yard line after about a three-yard return. 12-14 to play in the first half. It's Grambling 7, Alabama State 3 here on the ASU Hornet Sports Network. ASU Athletics is the program of champions. The Hornets have earned back-to-back -back Commissioner Cup titles as the best all-around sports program in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. In the classroom, more than 175 student athletes each semester earn at least a 3.0 GPA with more than 50 earning degrees. And with hundreds of hours contributed in community service each year, it's clear to see why Alabama State Athletics is the program of champions. to play in the first half. Grambling 7, Alabama State 3, Tigers back on offense from their own 36. Quick flip to Domino, running left, trying to get outside. Across the 40, lunges forward to about the 45-yard line, all depend on the spot. Good first down run for Grambling. Tigers trying to run on the edge. They'll spot the football. At the 44, they put it at the 46, got to back that thing up. Gain of eight on the play, second down and two from the 44. Carter across midfield, first down, yardage for Grambling and more across the 40, across the 30, steps out of bounds at the Alabama State 29-yard line. Gain of 26. On that run for Carter. Tigers going quickly now. Two receivers left, one right. Tight end Birdsong, offset right. Running back Carter in the backfield, offset right. Now with Rodgers, Williams gathers the snap. Falls forward to about the 32 bad snap to his right, able to corral it in the air. Short gain to about the 26-yard line. Haley making the first contact for Alabama State. Tigers with too many players on the field right now, but still plenty of time. 20 on the play clock, 11-10 and counting in the first half. Three receivers right, one left. Carter in the backfield, offset right of the quarterback, Williams. Has the snap, looking right, throws, complete, domino. Across the 15, forced out, and a late flag on the play. He steps out at the 13, but a late flag on the play. It appears there was contact after he stepped out. We'll see what the official call is. The play results in the first down for Grambling State. Again, marked out at the 13. After the play, late hit, personal foul, number six, defense, half the distance to the goal, first down. So 
will get Bradley Street with the penalty. Have to move the ball inside the 10 yard line. So first and goal coming up for Grambling from the Alabama State six yard line. Tigers changing formations now. Three receivers left, one right. Point is looking for a stop defensively. Tigers trying to extend the 7-3 lead. Williams, quick throw, incomplete. Intended for Domino in the slot, second down. Tigers will run three new players into the formation. This will be a three tight end set, two left, one right. Receiver four right. Unbalanced line for the Tigers. Williams, the flip, trying to run left, trying to get outside. Good coverage. Hit. Loss of maybe one. Chad Williams on the pitch from Jonathan Williams. I think he lost one on that play. Should bring up a third down and goal from the seven. Looks like Dominic Jackson in on that first hit for Alabama State. Big third and goal coming up with 10, 10 and counting in the first half. Point of defense digging in. Fans urging them on. Three receivers right for the Tigers, one left. Carter in the backfield offset right. Williams with the snap. Looking left, trying to buy some time. The swarm is coming. He rolls right, throws end zone, touchdown. Domino with the reception. Moving to his right with his quarterback rolling right. Touchdown for Grambling State. Tigers extend to a 13-3 lead. Orozco on for the extra point. Back-to-back -back scoring drives for Grambling State. Extra point is up and good with 9.47 to play until halftime. It's Grambling 14, Alabama State 3 on the ASU Hornets Sports Network. Something big is coming to Atlanta December 19, 2015. Conference Pride is on the line with the first-ever Celebration Bowl. The Mideastern Athletic Conference and the Southwestern Athletic Conference will meet in the newly created Celebration Bowl season game. Come with this history as these two HBCU conferences collide at the Georgia Dome in Atlanta on an ESPN network. For more information on the Celebration Bowl, visit SWAC.org or ESPNEvents.com. Hornet offense looking to get back on the move here in the first half, trailing by a score of 14 to 3. Parks and Pritchard deep will be Parks on the return once again for Alabama State. Across the 25, across the 30, big run for Hush Puppy. Late flag on the play. Juan Park, standing 5-2, no doubt the men's basketball team in the course of 2015, defending SWAC tournament champion, ASU women's basketball team. That event begins at 9 p.m., part of a triple header in which ASU soccer will play Southern 
and ASU Volleyball will play Jackson State. Third down and two. Toppings on the quarterback keeper trying to get to the line for the first down, but it stopped short in the backfield. So hitting the backfield, he will be, we'll see where they stack it and where they spot it. Right at the line of scrimmage, so fourth down and two coming up. And the Hornets will be forced to punt. So Vincent on to punt once again for Alabama State. High punt caught at the 33. The fair catch is made by McLean for the Tigers. And that's where Grambling will take over, 7.37 to play until halftime. So need a big stop here from the defense. Keeping, trying to keep this game close at the 14-3 deficit right now for Alabama State with seven minutes and 37 seconds to play in the second quarter. Tiger offense back on the field, two receivers left, one right. Tight end left for the Tigers. Pistol formation. Williams with the handoff. Short gain across the 35. Run by Kelly. Initial contact by Darius Washington. Gain of about two. To the Tiger 36-yard line. Second down and eight coming up. With 7.15 and counting in the first half. Williams looking left, fakes, pumps, tripped up, dropped in the backfield, stepped on his own man, spread the sack to Gomer in the backfield. Big loss on the play back to the Grambling 29-yard line. Third down, 15 coming up. Big opportunity for the Alabama State defense to post a three and out. Three receivers right, one left. Point of Nation trying to urge on the defense. Williams in the shotgun, rolling right. Throws high, incomplete, three and out for this Alabama State defense. Great pressure by Darius Washington from his linebacking position. Let's see if we can ride this momentum into a big punt return. That's Khalid Thomas back to receive for Alabama State. His first return of the evening. Orozco on for the punt for Gramlin. Thomas makes the catch. This 33 spin move, but tripped up at the 35-yard line. Mr. Excitement trying to get loose on that punt return for Alabama State. We'll step aside 10 seconds for station ID on the ASU Hornet Sports Network. Six twenty-one to play until halftime. Here on the ASU Hornet Sports Network, Hornets trail grambling by a score of fourteen to three. ASU Hornet Sports Network, powered by Alabama State University. Opportunity is here. As Anderson gets back to, to the line of scrimmage, no gain, second down. To learn more, visit www.alasu.edu. Beautiful evening here in the capital city of Alabama, the second annual Prince Hall Masons Americanism Football Classic. Thanks for joining us on the ASU Hornet Sports Network. You can also watch live at BamaStateSports.com slash showcase. Toppings, throws right, caught, no gain. Maybe it may be a short gain. Just across the 35, I think that was Davis on the catch on a slow developing screen. Important third down coming up for Alabama State. Actually, a catch was made by Austin Bemis. Third 
third down, the long nine coming up for Alabama State. Two receivers either side. Anderson in the backfield. Toppings with time. Pocket collapses. He is sacked back at the 25-yard line. So the Hornet offense goes three and out. O-line not able to protect the pocket on that third down play and will be forced to punt with five minutes and counting in the first half. So Vincent on once again to punt for Alabama State. And McLean on to receive for Grambling. Vincent with the punt. Wobbly on the far side. Takes a sideways bounce. Goes out of bounds at the Grambling 44-yard line. They'll put it at the 43. And that's where Grambling will take over with 432 to play in the first half. Defense has somewhat slowed down this Tiger offense in the second quarter. Perhaps need that turnover, perhaps a scoop and score, pick six to ignite the offense and gain some momentum going into the halftime locker room. Be sure to stay with us as we go one-on-one -on -one with ASU head volleyball coach Penny Lucas-White. You can watch and hear halftime on our Twitter feed at ASU Buzz. Williams looking left, throws left complete. Pass to about the 47, 48 yard line. Catching the far side made by Chad Williams. Easterwood on the tackle for Alabama State. Gain of five to the 48, second down and five coming up, four, 10 and counting until halftime. Two receivers left, two right. Running back offset left. Williams on the keeper, running right, trying to get outside. Dives forward into Alabama State territory just across the 50-yard line. Gain of two, third down, long two coming up for Grambling State. Martin on the tackle for Alabama State. Another big third down play here for this ASU defense. Looking for a second straight, three and out. Three receivers left, one right. Running back Carter offset left of the quarterback Williams Hornets showing pressure flag on the play false start against false Grambling start. 51 offense five yard penalty third down so the Hornets showing pressure causing that Tiger offensive line to flinch just a little bit as Gunn called for the false start So now third down and seven coming up. 322 left in the first half. Three receivers left, one right for the Tigers. Hornets once again showing pressure. Four down lineman, snap to Williams in the pocket, has some time, scrambles, throws deep down the field, overthrows Chad Williams incomplete. Big break for the Hornets as two Grambling receivers running free down the left side but another good stop for the Alabama State defense. Trying to get some points on the board with 313 to play in the first half. Khalid Thomas looking for that big punt return for Alabama State. Orozco on the punt once again for Grambling. Punt is off. Thomas drifting back will let it bounce. Takes a Hornet bounce into the end zone for a touchback. So with 3.03 to play in the first half, Hornets looking for some points going into the halftime locker room, trailing by a score, 14-3. Got points on the opening drive for the third straight game. A 16-play, 74-yard drive, taking more than six minutes off the clock. That 33-yard field goal by David Albert, the only Hornet scoring to this point. Quintarius Toppings making his first throw that quarterback for Alabama State. Leads the offense back on the field. Two receivers left, two right. The running back, Anderson, offset left. Toppings calling signals, has the snap, looking left, throws left, caught across the 25, forced out near the 30 for Ephraim Henderson. Gain of nine on the play to the Hornet 29-yard line. Second down and one coming up. Same formation, two receivers left, two right. Hornets looking to go fast and score 
on what could be the final possession of the first half. Handoff, Anderson trying to get to that 30. We'll see where forward progress takes him. Head lines and runs up right at the 30-yard line. Should be enough, and it is, for an Alabama State first down. Joe Levette on the stop for Grambling. Gain of one, but that's all we needed. First down and 10 for Alabama State from our 30 with 235 and counting in the first half. In same formation, two receivers left, two right. False start against Chase Nixon. False start. Six to two. Drop back Offense. to pass. Five yard penalty. First down. Drop back to pass protect too quickly that time, so we'll back up five to our 25-yard line with 227 to play in the first half. First down and 15 for Alabama State. Hannah and Oliver left. Toppings, looking right, throws complete back to the 30-yard line. Slow to get up, catch made by number 86, Wendell Archie. Gain of five back to the original line of scrimmage, second down and 10 coming up. Second down, 10, two receivers left, two right, 145 and counting in the first half. One timeout remaining for Alabama State. Snap gets past Toppings. He falls on it back inside our 15 at the 11-yard line. Big loss on the play. That will back us up officially to the 13-yard line, so a loss of 17 on the play. Timeout. And Grambling will Grambling call timeout. State. First charge timeout. 30-second timeout. 120 to play in the first half and not what you need after getting a first down. False start followed by a bad snap gets past toppings. Big Please loss for us. Reset the game clock to one minute, 31 seconds. One, three, three one. We'll put thir or 11 seconds back on the clock. So 131 to play in the first half. Stay with us as we'll go one-on-one -on -one with ASU head volleyball coach Penny Lucas White. Peter Houlihan conducted that interview for us for the ASU Hornet Sports Network. To watch and hear all of halftime, go to our Twitter page at twitter.com slash ASU Buzz to catch all of the halftime action, including a check presentation from the Prince Hall Masons. Third and 27 for the Hornets. Line to gain is our 40. Three receivers left, one right. Anderson offset right behind toppings at quarterback. Anderson on the draw play. Across the 15. Fights forward to near the 20. As Grambling once again will call timeout. timeout. Grambling State. Second charge. Timeout. 30 seconds. Timeout. So 122 remaining in the first half. Tigers trying to get the ball back to try and mount a drive before halftime. So we'll be forced to punt once again with 122 remaining in the first half, hoping that defense can get another stop. A takeaway and some type of score will be great here late in the first half. Hornets with an opening drive field goal. Grambling coming back with two touchdowns, both scored in the fourth quarter, and that's where we stand with 122 to play in the first half. Punt nearly blocked but got it off. We'll take a grambling bounce and down near midfield. So the Tigers will have a minute 13 remaining in the first half 
and one timeout remaining from its own 48-yard line. Point of defense looking to come up big one more time in this first half. Tigers going five wide, empty backfield for Williams at the quarterback position. Looking to pass, throws left to Chad Williams across midfield to the Hornet 46-yard line, gain of six, second down four, clock ticking quickly under a minute to play in the first half. Again, five wides for the Tigers. Hornets bringing pressure. Throw across the middle. Incomplete ball hit the ground. Second down coming up. Pardon me, third down coming up for Grambling with 50 seconds to play. Hornets being very aggressive. Hunt with the intended receiver bringing pressure against the five wide formation of Grambling. They'll stay in that formation. Let's bring some pressure once again. Third down, five from the Hornet 46. We'll call it third and four from the Hornet 46. False start against Grambling. Prior to the snap, false start, 27 offense, five yard penalty, third down. Now we're back to Tigers up five with 47 seconds remaining. Will they reset the game clock? As Brian Jenkins looking for that clock reset. If we can get a stop, force a punt. Still having that conversation on the sideline with the head linesman, Jerry Goosby. Now Goosby will talk it over with Roderick Holloway. After a lot of discussion, no clock reset. Third down nine from the Grambling 49. Again, five wide. Quick screen, backside. Good defense by Alabama State. Brought down for a loss. Good job Alabama by State. Nick Martin. Third final charge timeout of the first half. Correction, Easterwood. Easterwood on that tackle for loss for this Alabama State defense, which comes up with another big play here in the second quarter. 40 seconds to play in the first half as the Hornets call our third and final timeout. Trying to get a big return to get some points prior to halftime. Final timeout for Alabama State with 40 seconds remaining in the first half. Kalia Thomas will once again go back to receive the punt for Alabama State. Orozco to boot it for Gramlin. High punt. Thomas will be forced to call the fair catch. And we'll do so at the six-yard line with 32 seconds remaining. Grambling with, with one timeout left in the first half. They'll spot it at the seven. We anticipate pointing offense just taking a knee, being backed up inside our own 10-yard line with 32 seconds to play in the first half. Quinterius Toppings will lead the Hornet offense on the field. On what should be the final series of the first half. Two receivers left, two tight ends right. Toppings in the shotgun. Will give the Pritchard across the 10. Tripped up near the 15-yard line. Nice gain on the play to about the 14. Clock running, 15 seconds and counting. Grambling sees content to let us run out the clock. 
Five seconds and counting will give to Pritchett once again. And that is the final play of the first half. End of the first half. So another promising start for Alabama State with the opening drive field goal. Got off to a 3 nothing lead. Developed to become one of the leading collegiate athletic associations in the world, the Southwestern Athletic Conference. From the southeastern region of the United States and Alabama to the second largest state in the country in Texas, the parishes of Louisiana through the Mississippi River and the natural state of Arkansas, students from all over the world demonstrate the ability to perform, achieve, and excel in scholastic activities. Be a part of history. Be a part of the SWAC experience. Stand and be counted among the best in academics, athletics, music, stewardship. Create your world of contacts and friendships that last a lifetime. We are proud of our past and value our traditions. We will always carry a spirit of respect and competition. We are the Southwestern Athletic Conference. Honor the heritage. Listen live each Thursday at 6 p.m. for the Wild Wing Swarm and Sting ASU Football Coaches Show with Brian Jenkins. Come and be a part of the live audience at the Eastdale Mall location or tune in weekly on the ASU Hornet Sports Network as we talk Hornet football. Come and enjoy great food and beverage specials as we get you ready for the upcoming game. That's the Wild Wing Swarm and Sting ASU Football Coaches Show Thursday at 6 p.m. here on the ASU Hornet Sports Network. Started my Camry, went to the auction, won a storage locker, found an old guitar. Tracked down the previous owner. Reunited them. Hit the jackpot. The bold new Camry. One bold choice leads to another. Toyota, let's go places. Alabama State University Athletics is the program of champions. ASU student-athletes have earned back-to-back -back Commissioner Cup trophies as the best all-around sports program in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. And while ASU Athletics has earned 20 SWAC division, regular season, conference, or tournament titles in the past two seasons, success has also been achieved in the classroom. More than 170 student-athletes in the past four semesters have earned at least a 3.0 GPA, with an average of more than 20 each semester earning a perfect 4.0 GPA. In the community, the Hornet student-athletes contribute hundreds of hours of community service each year in giving back to the River Region. Alabama State University Athletics is the program of champions in competition in the classroom and in the community.
are moments away from the start of the second half as your Alabama State Hornets trail the Grambling State Tigers by a score of 14 to 3. Quick look at the halftime stats. Hornets 76 yards total offense. Without question, we have to improve that number. Got to get the offense going. Seven first downs, but not a lot of big plays in that. No plays right now. I think just one catch of more than 20 yards. That by Jameer Hanna on a 21-yard reception earlier in the first half. Quinterius topping solid numbers, 12 of 19 passing for 78 yards. No touchdowns, no interceptions. Has been sacked twice. Rushing-wise, minus two yards rushing. Some of that coming from toppings being sacked. But the offensive line must shore up to give this offense a chance to get going in the final 30 minutes. So Roscoe kicks off. Parks will field it and bring it out of the end zone. One is going right to left on your internet radio dial as Parks tripped up at the 19-yard line. And that's where Alabama State will begin the second half. White tripped up Parks, and we have an injured Hornet on the field to begin the second half. Down at about the 23-yard line. Here's that is number 90 for Alabama State, the Tavion Gammer, 6'3", 240-pound red shirt freshman from Tifton, Georgia. So he's lying face down, being attended to by the ASU athletic training staff. Head coach Brian Jenkins, other members of the ASU medical staff out there. We'll take a full time out here just underway in the second half. One is trailing by a score, 14-3 here on the ASU Hornet Sports Network. Hornet Athletics and American Lou Fast are proud to announce the Hornet Pride Rewards Program. Visit any of our 55 locations and say Hornet Pride. You'll receive a 10% discount on every visit, and American Lou Fast will make a contribution to Hornet Athletics. American Lou Fast. Support the team that supports your Hornets. Gammer walks off on his own power. First and 10, Alabama State from the 19-yard line. Three receivers left, one right. Toppings at quarterback for the Hornets. Anderson offset left, running right. Across the 20 to about the 23-yard line. You see where they spot it. Gain up to the 22-yard line. We'll give him three, second down and seven. Second down and seven from the 22-yard line. Two receivers left, two right. Toppings, throws left, and out of the backfield. Takes the big hit, but stays on his feet. First down, Alabama State out to the 32-yard line. 
Big game for Anderson. Laid the wood at the end of the play. First down, Alabama State. Good first down on the first drive here in the third quarter. Three receivers left, one right. Anderson offset next to Toppings in the backfield. Anderson offset left. Fakes, tries to buy some time, hitting the backfield. Ball loose, appears to be recovered by Gramlin. We will go to break with 13.59 to play in the third quarter. Grambling 14, Alabama State 3 here in the ASU Hornet Sports Network. Show your Bama State spirit by supporting Hornet Pride 365, a great giving initiative that supports ASU student athletes. For more information and to give, visit BamaStateSports.com forward slash Hornet Pride 365. Turnover, great pressure by the Hornet defense. Williams forcing to an incompletion. Second down coming up, Torrey Davis with great pressure for Alabama State. Hornets once again trying to make a big stop. Tigers offensively, 218 yards in the first half. There is no foul on the play. The quarterback was out of the pocket. And the ball across the line of scrimmage to extend it. Out of bounds. Second down. And head coach Brian Jenkins not sure about that one, but second down and 10 for Grambling coming up from the Hornet 21-yard line. And now Roger Holloway still in discussion. So second down and 10, three receivers left, one right. Williams looking left, buying time, chase from behind, still on the run, knocked out at the 21 yard, and they throw the flag, unbelievable. He was clearly in bounds from this vantage point, Torrey Davis with the hit, and they're gonna get him for a penalty, and Brian Jenkins standing there in disbelief. Defense. Don't agree and with that call. Goal. First down. When the quarterback tucks that football, he becomes a runner. He was still in bounds. Davis timeout. led the timeout. shot. Davis laid the shot, and Brian Jenkins wants a timeout. He wants a timeout. He is timeout. not happy right now. By mistake. So we will go to First break with 1340 to play. As Brian Jenkins wants to make his point, we will step aside. 13.40 to play in the third quarter. Hornets trail 14-3 on the ASU Hornets Sports Network. Five days of nonstop action in the Lone Star State takes place March 8th through the 12th when the 2016 Toyota Swag Basketball Tournament returns to Houston, Texas. Fans can engage in all events at the Toyota Center with concerts and parties happening live all week long. Catch all the men's and women's action and see how history will be made. The 2016 Toyota Swag Basketball Tournament, March 8th through 12th in Houston, Texas at the Toyota Center. Visit SWAC.org for the latest updates.
Pointed head coach Brian Jenkins called timeout to make his point. First down and 10 for Grambling from the Hornet 11-yard line. Williams in the pocket, throws right, nearly intercepted. Torrey Davis has to make that play, and that's one of those moments we've talked about throughout the early part of this 2015 season. Late flag on the play. Grambling player is down about the seven-yard line. Personal foul, roughing the passer, number 94, defense, half the distance to the goal, first down. And a roughing the passer called on Ghost Henderson, and we got to keep the composure. Now, if he throws it and he makes that step, you got to lay off. But when there's a play to be made, you got to make it. Temper's starting to flare a little bit. Got to control the emotion of the ball game. 14-3 game appears that the tight end for a grounding is down. Brandon Birdsong. 6'3", 215-pound senior from Atlanta, Georgia. Being attended to by both medical staffs. Great teamwork amongst both medical staffs anytime there's an injured athlete down on the field. Talked about it with my partner Chris Terry last week. Best of luck to Chris. Actually in a tryout this weekend with the Canadian Football League. Wishing him all the best in that tryout this weekend. Talked about not wanting to see any player down on the field, whether friend, teammate, or opponent. Never like to see a player go down. In competition, very physical game as we all know, and injuries do happen. But both medical staffs, it appears that Brian Jenkins may be out there as well for the health and well-being of the Grambling player while trying to make his point. And now at about the 14-yard line, Brian Jenkins and Broderick Fobbs, the head coach of the Grambling State, having a conversation out in the middle of the field. Two head coaches have known each other for some time. Great respect on both sidelines for both programs. As the medical staffs huddle around, we'll step aside for a quick timeout on the ASU Hornet Sports Network. So as Birdsong makes his way to the Grambling sideline, first and goal for Grambling from the Hornet five-yard line. Two receivers left, two right in the stack formation. Handoff up the middle to perhaps a yard gain on the play. Carry made by, I believe it was Fuselier, number 38. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but second and goal from just inside the five. Correction, that was 28 Kelly, so second and goal from the five. Williams on the keeper at quarterback, tackled at the four, third down coming up for this grounding offense. On the defense, bending, trying not to break here. Just two minutes into the third quarter. Number 17. So perhaps a break for Alabama State as quarterback Jonathan Williams must come out the game as his helmet came off, has to miss one play. So that will bring in backup quarterback number 15. Trayvon Cherry, unless Broderick Five chooses to use a timeout. And now he wants an explanation from the officials. So he will take timeout to keep Williams on the field. So this will be a 30 second timeout. Gremlin State, first charge timeout, 30 second timeout. So Broderick Fives counters, wants to keep his star quarterback on the field. So he goes and, and takes the first of three timeouts here in the second half. A 
Again, great crowd on hand here for the second annual Prince Hall Masons Americanism Football Classic. This year's matchup versus the Grambling State Tigers here at ASU Stadium. On his trail by a score of 14 to 3, just 2.15 into the third quarter. Third down goal for Grambling from just inside the Hornet five yard line. Two receivers left, two right. Kelly, the running back, offset left of the quarterback. Called by Grambling State. Number 17 has returned to the game. As referee Roderick Holloway explains. What I mentioned a few moments ago with the timeout called by Grambling, Williams can stay in the game. Has a snap in the pocket, looking left, throws across the middle, back of the end zone, touchdown. Catch made by number 84, Chris Bazil in the back of the end zone, touchdown for the Tigers. And overruled, now incomplete. Incomplete after a conversation with the officials in favor of Alabama State. As you know, only need one foot down in college football. So the fourth down. Is after possessing the ball, the receiver's left foot came down out of bounds. The players rule incomplete. So fourth down, a big break for Alabama State. Orozco on for the field goal attempt from the right hash will be a 22-yard attempt. Wallace on to hold for Grambling. Orozco made three field goals last week versus Bethune-Cookman. Snap is down, kick is up, and it is good with 12.34 to play in the third quarter. Grambling extends to a 17-3 lead. But once again, great job by the Alabama State defense of bending but not breaking. Only allowing the field goal after coming on after the turnover offensively by Alabama State. So the defense of Alabama State keeping the Hornets close in this ball game, but we have to get that offense going. Head coach Brian Jenkins making changes to the offensive line, moving Damian Love out to left tackle. Starting outside for the first time, Sam Jenkins moving into the starting role at left guard, along with Kerry Williams, Robert Rockamore, and Chase Dixon. Those five have to get going for us to be successful here in the third quarter. Just buy some time, let toppings go to work, let those receivers get open. Try to make some running lanes for our running backs. Only down two scores at 17-3 still. Plenty of time. 12-33 remaining in the third quarter. ASU band, the mighty marching Hornets keeping the fans engaged here at ASU Stadium. Pritchett, Parks, back deep to receive. Parks will take it. From about the one on the far side across the 15. Tripped up at the 15 yard line, and that's where Alabama State will begin the next offensive possession. Still plenty of time, as I mentioned. 12 24 to play in the third quarter. Had a couple of injuries that led to some early media timeouts. But Quinterius Toppings will lead this one in offense back on the field. Two receivers left for Alabama State. One right. The tight end offset right. Khalid Thomas at running back offset left of Toppings. Davis in motion. Thomas running right across the 15, across the 20, first down, and more forced out near the 43-yard line. The longest gain of the night for Alabama State, a gain of 28 yards. So two receivers left, again one right, this time Smiley the tight end, offset right. Thomas once again offset left. Davis in motion, Thomas running right. 
Little to no gain on the play. Second down coming up. Second down and 10 from the 43. Same formation for the Hornets. Toppings calling signals. Davis in motion. He'll get it running left. Good blocking on the near side. Across the 45, tripped up at the 46. We'll stand by 10 seconds for station ID on the ASU Hornet Sports Network. Eleven ten and counting third quarter ASU Hornet Sports Network powered by Alabama State University. Opportunity is here. Third quarter action. Hornets trailing Grambling by a score of 17-3. Third down seven. Toppings with the snap. Has some time. Trying to run. Falls forward. Shy of midfield. Shy of the line to gain. A flag on the far side of the field. Near the line of scrimmage was Grambling offsides once again. Initial indication appears against the Hornets as Roger Holloway. In the formation, six to two, five men in the backfield. That penalty is declined. Fourth down. Right tackle Chase Dixon called again for not being far enough up on the line of scrimmage. Got to make sure at least that left foot is is even with the right guard. Second time he's been called for that penalty. Fourth down. The Hornets will be forced to punt. So Vincent on once again to punt for Alabama State. McLean deep for Grambling. Low bouncing kick. Takes a Hornet bounce inside the 20, inside the 10. Will be down at about the 9-yard line. So about 40-41 on that punt. Grambling will take over with 10-36 to play in the third quarter. On this trail by a score of 17 to 3. Grambling comes out, two receivers left, one right. Tight end left. Running back Carter, offset right of Williams. Carter gets the ball, running up the middle, knocked down. At the 15, gain of six on that first down run. Barry in the mix for the tackle for Alabama State. Second down four from the 15. 10 10 and counting, third quarter. Two receivers right, one left. Carter behind Williams in the pistol. Williams will keep rolling left. Pressured by the swarm, forced. To throw incomplete, third down coming up for Grambling. Tigers converting just three of eight on third down in the first half. Another big opportunity for this Alabama State defense who continues time and time again for the most part tonight to dig in when it's needed most. Would be a big three and out right here for this Hornet defense. Third and four from the 15. Three receivers left. One right. Carter offset left. Williams with the snap in the pocket. Looking left. Throws across the middle. Caught. Ball knocked away. Ruled incomplete. Appeared he had a foot down on the catch. But great defense. We'll take the three and out. The fumble, scoop, and score would have been a lot better. But we'll get the ball back with 9.54 to play in the third quarter as the Hornet defense comes up big once again. Orozco on to punt. Thomas awaits the punt at the Hornet 45. High punt. Thomas will have to call fair catch and does so, but great field position for Alabama State at our own 46-yard line. Got a first down and two in that last drive. Let's get that momentum going. Khalil Thomas had a big run on the last possession. But great field position for us near midfield. Let's get this thing going. All we need is, all we need is seven, and it's a brand-new ball game. Still plenty of time with 9.45 remaining 
in the third quarter. Toppings back on that quarterback for Alabama State. Four receiver set. Anderson offset right of the quarterback toppings. Has a snap. Looks left. Throws. Incomplete. Hit as he tried to make the catch. That pass intended for 18. Lolita McHarry. McHarry. Pardon me. McHarry. That pass intended for him. Running the route out of the slot. Second down and 10 coming up. Again, same formation for the Hornets. Toppings with the signals. Has the snap. Looking left once again. We'll throw to Anderson out of the backfield. Trying to turn it up. Across midfield. Falls forward to the Grambling 46-yard line. Nice game on the play. We'll give him six. We'll call it seven. Bonner on the stop for the Tigers. Important third down here. If we can gain a yard or two, maybe three, will Brian Jenkins roll the dice on fourth down? Let's get the first down and make it a moot point. Two receivers left, two right. Anderson, offset left, toppings. Calling signals, has the snap. Looking across the middle, fakes, tries to buy some time. Runs brought down at midfield. Loss of about two, maybe three, and the Hornets will be forced to punt. And just one first down would just make a difference. Reese on the play for Gramley. Great field position, unable to get that first down. This Gramley defense, very tough against the run. Held Bethune-Cookman to a 1.7 yard per rush average last week. Low punt fielded by McLean at the 11, trying to break free. Dives forward after a nice cutback to the 15. And that's where Gramling will take over. With 8.29 to play in the third quarter. Don't forget, for all the latest news in Hornet Athletics, visit our official website at BamaStateSports.com. Follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Google+. Download our free mobile app for Jordan iPhones by visiting BamaStateSports.com forward slash social media. You can watch tonight's game right there on the ASU Athletics app. First and 10, Grambling from its own 15. Williams looking right, throws right, caught across the 20, out of bounds near the first down. Catch made by Hunter. Marked out right at the 25, enough for a Grambling State first down. Davis on the stop for Alabama State. First down, 10, Grambling from the 25. Two receivers left, two right. Kelly has a signal still coming in from the Grambling sideline. Kelly offset left of the quarterback, Williams, who has a snap. We'll give to Kelly, running left. Still moving forward across the 30, brought down at about the 32-yard line. Seven-yard gain on first down. Got to limit these first down runs and plays for this grambling offense. But again, this Hornet defense has bent a lot tonight, has not broken, despite being put in some tough situations. Offense unable to get going to this point other than the first drive of the game. 7-20 and counting, third quarter. On this trail, 17-3. Two receivers left, two right. Carter now in. I'll make it still Kelly offset right. High snap. Williams has it. Still has time. Throws left. High. Incomplete. Intended for Chad Williams on the far side. Incomplete. Second down coming up. Torrey Davis. Easterwood in the vicinity. Big third down and three. Hornet defense trying to do it again. Get this potent grambling attack off the field. Three receivers left. One right. Williams in the pocket looking left. Throws across the middle. Caught first down. Chad Williams into Alabama State territory. Down to the 43-yard line. Big pitch and catch that time for this Grambling offense now into Alabama State territory.
So first and 10 Tigers under seven to play third quarter. Same formation with Kelly offset to the right. Williams looking left, throws complete to the 35-yard line. Catch made by Domino. Up to the Hornet 36-yard line. And Grambling now starting to win offensively on first down. Second down, three coming up. Same formation for the Tigers, going quickly. Williams pulls it down, throws complete. 10-yard line, Williams makes a move. Touchdown for Grambling State. And we saw that play last week. Run by Alcorn. When you fake that dive and the quarterback runs out trying to draw in the defense, unfortunately, we bit on the fake. Easy throw from Williams to Williams, who makes a move at the 10 and goes into the end zone for a touchdown. So scored now 23-3, extra point pending, with 6-12 to play in the third quarter. Orozco on for the extra point. Snap is down, kick is up, and it is good, but there is a flag on the play. Penalty flag on the play. We'll see what the call is. Flag thrown right at the line of scrimmage, but thrown from the defensive backfield. Usually means 12 on the field. We'll see what the call is. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. 57 of Grambling, Florida punch. Number 57 has disqualified himself under the fight rule. So the long snapper for Grambling, number 57, Byron Williams, has been ejected for throwing a punch with 6-12 to play here in the third quarter, 6-4. 268-pound senior from New Orleans, Louisiana, has been ejected for throwing a punch. So somehow, some way, we got to get a special play on offense to get back in this game, trailing by a score of 24-3. Still a lot of time to go with 6-12 to play in the third quarter. This Grambling defense allowed 56 points last week against Bethune-Cookman. So definitely there's some holes there if we can take advantage, but it starts with the pass protection up front. Need the big men up front. Buy some time. Need topics to make some throws. Time to make a play somewhere, somehow on the field. Let's make a play and then make another one. Still a lot of time to go. Trailing by a score of 24-3. to three. So with the unsportsmanlike penalty, a Roscoe will kick off from the Grambling 20 should give this Alabama State offense another opportunity at great field position. But we got to get going. Got to get some plays made. Two or three, four in a row. Let's get a touchdown and get going. Have not scored an offensive touchdown since the first quarter last week versus Alcorn. Short kick, middle of the field. We will field it at the 35. Breaking free across midfield. Across the 50, inside the 45, down to the 42-yard line. Nice run and return by Malik Bridges. The up man, they tried to squib kick in the middle of the field. Nice nifty running by Bridges. The 6'1", 215-pound sophomore from Baltimore, Maryland. Grambling offsides. Will add five to the end of that return. So outstanding field position for Alabama State at the Grambling 38-yard line with 6.03 to play in the third quarter. Four receivers set for the Hornets. Two left, two right. Anderson, the running back, offset to the right. Toppings has gone the distance in his first start for Alabama State. Has the snap. Takes a pump fake. Rolls to his right. Throws. Caught. Gain of about five to the 33-yard line. Nice catch by Joshua Davis. Gain of five on the play, but there is a flag in the backfield of Alabama State. Personal foul. 
Illegal hands to the hay, to, to the face. Number 72 offense, 15 yards from the previous spot, first down. Right guard, Robert Rockmore getting the hands up too high will negate that play, back us up 15. Back into our own territory, setting up first down and 25. So the ball placed at the Alabama State 47-yard line. First down, 25 coming up. Three receivers right, one left. Anderson offset left. Toppings in the shotgun, has the snap. Throws right, caught to McHarry across the 45 in Grambling territory up to the 43-yard line. Nice gain on the play. Give him 10 to the Grambling 43. Cut it in half. Second down about 13. We'll give him 12. Three receivers left, one right. Toppings trying to get us in the end zone. Has the snap. Has some time. Throws for a sideline. Caught. Nice pitch and catch. Catch made by 85 that time for the Hornets. Austin Bemis. Third down, and we'll call it five. Very manageable distance for Alabama State. Probably four down territory with 440 to play third quarter. Two receivers left, two right. Anderson, the running back, offset right. Toppings with the snap. Looking, trying to buy time. He'll take off. Corral looks like a face mask, horse collar, no flag called. He does gain three to the 30-yard line. Fourth down and two coming up. Fourth down and two coming up. So fourth and two coming up. For Alabama State from the Grambling 30. Offense on the field. Three receivers right. One left. Anderson offset right. Toppings calling signals. From the Grambling 30. 410 to play third quarter. Handoff. Anderson trying to get to the line. It's all going to depend on the spot. Going to be very, very close. Going to be very close. We didn't need quite the exact line of the 28, but we need to get close to it. All going to depend on the spot and perhaps a measurement. Let's see where they put it down, and there will be a measurement from the officials. As Robert Holloway calls for the change to come in. From where I'm standing right now, Hornet Nation, we appear to be short. I hope I am wrong. We're about half, the ball is about halfway between the 29 and the 28. We need to be about a third of the way closer toward that 28-yard line. Hopefully I am wrong. They run in a little bit backwards, but we'll see. As they put the chains down, and we are short of the line of game for first down. Ball turned over to Grambling with 4.04 to play in the third quarter. Coming up about a half a yard short after once again getting outstanding field position to start the drive, unable to take advantage. So Grambling back on offense here with 4.04 to play in the third quarter. Point is trailing by a score of 24 to 3. Quarterback Jonathan Williams leads the grounding offense back on the field. Two receivers left, one right. Timeout. Grambling State. And Grambling will call timeout. Second charge. Timeout. Their second timeout second. of the half will be a 30-second timeout.
on the offense, not quite able to generate anything after that initial opening drive. 74 yards, 16 plays, took more than six minutes off the clock. Ended with a 33-yard field goal by David Albert. Had some opportunities, some short fields, unable to take advantage to this point. Trailing 24-3, 4-0-2 the play in the third quarter. First and 10, Grambling from its own 28. Williams in the pocket, looking left. Throws deep down the field, going for Rodgers. Catches made inside Hornet territory at the 24-yard line. So Grambling comes out, takes the big shot down the field. And flips it quickly into Alabama State territory at the 24. Easterwood on the tackle. Gain of about 50 to the Alabama State 24. Rodgers goes in motion. Williams rolling right. Actually the handoff with two flags on the play. Of the misdirection that time in the Grambling backfield. And we'll see how Robert Holloway First calls it. Grab another face pass. Number 94. Defense. 15 yards. Automatic. First down. Personal foul called against Roderick Henderson. Got to keep the momentum going. Cannot have those plays and those penalties. Trying to stay in this game, trailing by a score of 24 to 3. So first and 10, Grambling from the Alabama State 11 yard line. 3.30 to play in the third quarter. Two receivers left, one right for the Tigers. Carter in the backfield, offset right to Williams, the quarterback. In the pocket, throwing right, hits Carter, coming out of the backfield inside the 10, 5, dives, touchdown, Grambling State. Carter with the catch and run out of the backfield as Grambling extends to a 30-3 lead. Orozco on once again for the extra point. Snap is down, kick is up. And good with 3.22 to play in the third quarter. Grambling with 17 in the third quarter as we now trail by a score of 31 to 3. Pleased to be joined now by the Grand Master of the Prince Hall Masons, Corey Hawkins. Thanks for joining us. Thanks again for your partnership with Alabama State University. What stood out for you in partnering with us to bring this great classic to Montgomery? Well, first of all, we're just thankful for the opportunity for Alabama State being open-minded enough to allow us to partner. And uh, as most of the Prince Hall Grand Lodge of Alabama, we know the importance of supporting students and supporting our HBCUs. And a part of our mission statement is to Send, to send kids to school through school. That's what we want to do to Alabama State University as well as our other HBCUs. You talk about scholarships. I don't need you to repeat that comment once more. So I've got the headphones up top here. Let's get you reset. As we're here late in the third quarter. All right. Now, now I can hear you loud and clear. Talk again about partnering with Alabama State to bring this great classic to Montgomery. Yes, we are, we are first of all, appreciative of Alabama State University being uh, open-minded enough to allow us to partner with them. Uh, we know the importance of support, supporting our HBCUs and sending our students uh, to school somewhere so that they can have a better future. Part of our mission statement uh, as Prince Howard Masons here in Alabama is to support kids through scholarship. And that's what we want to do and, and increase our vis visibility in the communities. You've had a great weekend of events in Montgomery, not only raising awareness, but raising dollars to support that effort. Yes, sir. We've seen a lot of instability in our country. How important is it to see strong black men and women with the partnership with the Eastern Stars to be that example of what true 
African American life can be in our communities? Well, I truly believe in order to be a man, you must see a man. Also, uh, in order to respect others, you must first learn to respect yourself. And uh, Prince Hall Masons, for, for a number of years, and the Order of Eastern Star have worked together to try and mentor our young men and women time so out. that they may grow up Outside and be able to become role models to children. You mentioned scholarships and the funding of those. Education continues to be that really primary ticket for success in our communities. How important is that? even in 2015, to continue to reinforce that importance? It's very important because the truth of the matter is, in order to be successful, most of the time, you have to have some type of education. And uh, education is the key. We must uh, do all that we can to instill that within our children, to let them know the importance of education, so that as they grow old and mature and get ready to make a decision about going to college, that they do it willfully, and they can pass that on to the next generation. What's next as you see the growth of this game continuing? Great crowd here tonight. How can we continue to grow not only the game, but the importance of continuing to fund scholarships for our, our African-American students and students at large? Well, I think that the more we work together to publicize this game, the bigger it's going to get. Uh, to my knowledge, this is the only game of this nature that a grand large in the nation uh, is assisting a HBCU in putting on. So we, we think it's, it's going to grow. Uh, we're getting a lot of support from within the state of Alabama, and we look forward to getting support from brothers and sisters within the organization from out of the state. And as we do that, the more we have these games, the more the Prince Hall Grand Lodge will be able to support Alabama State University through scholarship. So I think it's a great uh, collaborative effort, and we're looking forward to continuing it. I know our president, Dr. Gwendolyn Boyle, was very excited to sign the agreement last year. Look forward to a new one coming very, very soon to do just what you mentioned, growing this game, continuing to fund scholarships, and send students to college. Big pass play caught down the field by Quinterius Toppings into Grambling State Territory. Catch made on the far end by Austin Bemis to the 19-yard line. Perhaps you're bringing us some good luck. We're down 31-3. We want to keep that team trophy in Montgomery. That's right. We're going to try to make this comeback happen here with 2.35 to play in the first half. Grandmaster Corey Hawkins, thank you for joining us. Thank you for your support thank you, of sir. Alabama State University. Thank you. First down and 10 for the Hornets from the Grambling 19-yard line. Big pass play from Toppings to Bemis. Thomas. Running right across the 20, across the 15, down to the 12-yard line. Good first down run for Alabama State. Gain of about seven, maybe eight. We'll call it officially the 12-yard line. Second down and a short two coming up for Alabama State. Toppings, looking right, trying to buy some time, falls forward. A loss of one on the play, back to the 13-yard line. Third down, very manageable three coming up, definitely four down territory. It would appear with 135 to play, trailing by a score of 31 to 3. Henderson goes in. For Alabama State, Robinson comes out. Three receivers left. One right. The running back, Thomas, offset left. Toppings in the shotgun, calling out signals. Gives to Thomas, running right, hitting the backfield. Gain of maybe one. Fourth down coming up for Alabama State. Needs sevens, not threes, with a minute to play in the third quarter, trailing 31-3. Offense stays on the field. Fourth down and four. Need to get to the nine of Grambling. Three receivers left. One right. Thomas offset right. Toppings in the shotgun. Has some time. Throws. End zone. Incomplete. McHarry unable to hang on. Turned over on downs to Grambling. Made a great move on the corner, got open near the pylon, but once again, you have to make a play when there's a play to be made. Point is unable to come up with the catch. Ball turned over on downs to Grambling with 37 seconds to play in the third quarter. 
Definitely some opportunities for this Hornet offense. Unable to convert into points since the opening drive. Two receivers left, two right. Williams, Gibbs, Kelly across the 15, tackled at the 17-yard line. Gain of about four, we'll call it five to the 18. Second down five with 20 seconds to play in the third quarter. And the Tigers seem content to let the third quarter clock run down. And they will do so, and that is the end of the third quarter. It's scrambling 31. Alabama State 3 here on the ASU Hornet Sports Network. Wild Wing Sports Cafe in Eastdale Mall is proud to be a part of the ASU family. The mission of Wild Wings is simple, to serve the Montgomery community with a quality product and great service. We look forward to Hornet Nation joining us each week for great football and great food. And join us each Thursday for the Wild Wings Swarm and Sting ASU Football Coaches Show. Wild Wings at Eastdale Mall. Support the team that supports your Hornets. the fourth quarter on his trail by a score of 31 to 3 grabbing on offense second and five running left Kelly to the Tiger 25 has enough for a grambling first down scores from around the sweat final score Alcorn State 55 Mississippi Valley State 14 fourth quarter at Prairie View Panthers lead Alabama A&M by a score of 40 to 28 End of three at Arkansas Pine Bluff, Texas Southern 24, UAPB 20. Late fourth quarter, Southern 50, Jackson State 24. Your SWAC scoreboard first weekend, all 10 conference teams in action against each other. Second down and six coming up for Grambling from its own 29-yard line. Tigers seem very content to try to shorten the game, letting, letting the play clock run down. With 10 on the play clock, two receivers left, two right. Williams throws complete across the 35, near the 40. Force out of bounds at about the 39-yard line, enough for the first down. Street on the tackle, catch made by Gibson, first down for Gramlin. Number 81 of Gramlin. Must be the game for one play. Due to Hellman coming out. Please lower the volume on the mics, the referee's mic. Thank you. Thank you. So Robert Holloway hearing a bit too much of himself here at the still new ASU Stadium. Williams in the pocket. Trying to buy time. Throws downfield. Incomplete. Through that pass behind McLean, who was open. Running down the seam. Correction. Make that Perkins. So second down and 10 coming up for Gramlin. Can we get a pick six? Get some momentum going here in this fourth quarter. Williams in the pocket, has time, gets loose. Can he be brought down? No, he escapes. But now the knee does touch at the 36-yard line, loss of about three. Third down, 13 coming up for Grambling. Good pressure by 
the front line of Alabama State again. This defense has been on the field a lot. Has given up some plays, but has played well for the most part. Not getting much in the way of offensive production from the ASU offense. Still trying to get going on our next possession. 13 minutes to play here in the ball game, trailing by a score of 31 to 3. Three receivers left, one right. Williams in the pocket, has some time, looking to take a shot. He does so deep down the field, and it is incomplete by the flag on the play. Pass intended for Leak. Coverage in the Alabama State secondary by Easterwood. Flag thrown at the 10-yard line of Alabama State. Pass interference. 16, defense. 15 yards, automatic. First down. Please lower the volume. Thank you. One thing about the personal foul penalty for pass interference, the 15-yard penalty better than the 50-plus yard gain, so first and 10 for Grambling from the Alabama State 49-yard line. Three receivers left, one right. Williams rolling right, forced out at the Hornet 45 after a four-yard game. Easterwood on the defensive for Alabama State. Second down four from the Hornet, 45, 12-25 and counting in the fourth quarter. Two receivers either side for Gramley. Kelly up the middle to the 40. Third down one coming up for the Grambling Tigers. 375 yards total offense through three quarters for GSU. More than 150 of those in the third quarter in which they outscored Alabama State by a 17 to nothing margin. Fourth and one from the 40. Under 12 to play in the ball game. Grambling subbing in players. Still 10 on the play clock. Three tight end formation. Williams goes under center for the first time with running backs in the eye. Kelly falling forward will all depend on the spot. Very close to the first down line to gain at the Alabama State 39. We'll see where they spot it. And it'll be close enough for a measurement. So they'll bring the chains out once again. Unfortunately, I was correct on the earlier chain measurement that we were short. This one I can't quite tell. I think Grambling will have enough for the first down based on the left foot spot of the head linesman whose back is to me here at ASU Stadium. And he has just enough for a Grambling first down with 11-18 to play in the ball game. First time Hornets going to a an I or Tigers pardon me going to the I formation look as Kelly gets just enough for the first down here in the fourth quarter. Two receivers left, one right. Kelly running right. Gain of one to the Hornet 38-yard line. Washington on the stop for Alabama State. Under 11 to play here in the fourth quarter. Tigers being very patient on offense. Three receivers left, one right. 
Williams once again in the shotgun for Grambling State. Showing the option pitch will keep it across the 35 to the Hornet 34-yard line. Third down and five coming up. ASU soccer at Austin P tomorrow, 2 p.m. back at home Friday versus Howard at 7 p.m. Part of a soccer volleyball doubleheader. Two-time defending volleyball champion Lady Hornets will host Alcorn State Friday at 7 p.m. in Lockhart Gym. Friday versus Valley at 5 p.m. Of course, ASU football will be at Valley next Saturday, 6 p.m. kick. Pre-game show at 5.30 on the ASU Hornet Sports Network. Pass incomplete, good coverage by Darius Washington. Fourth down coming up for Gramley. Good coverage on the tight end for the G-Men, number 84, Chris Bazile. So another stop for this Alabama State defense. And that will force a Grambling punt. Orozco on, trying to pooch it. And the Hornets have 12 men on the field as the ball goes into the end zone. And based on it being a fourth and five play, I think this will give Grambling a first down. So with the participation penalty, five yards, first down. with 12 men on the field against Alabama State, that five yards enough to give Grambling a first down to keep the drive going with 9.40 to play in the ball game. First and 10 Grambling from the Alabama State 29-yard line. Two receivers left, two right for the Tigers. Kelly offset right for the Tigers. Williams. The flag on the play appears to be false start against Gramlin. False start. 51 offense. Five yard penalty. First down. False start against number 51, Andre Gunn. First and 15 for the Tigers from the 34 of Alabama State. Two receivers left, two right. Williams has the snap, plenty of time. Throws down the field, wide open, bobbled and caught inside the 10 to about the 9-yard line. Catch made by Perkins. First and goal, Grambling from the Alabama State 9. That open right down the middle of the field behind the Alabama State defense. Sat down for the first down. First and goal, Grambling from the Hornet 9-yard line. Still 10 on the play clock for Grambling. Two receivers left, one right. Carter up the middle, make that Kelly to the 8-yard line, gain of 1. Tackle made by Jackson for Alabama State. Also Barry in the mix for Alabama State. Second and goal, Grambling from the 9, or from the 8, pardon me. 8.35 and counting in the ball game. Long delay by Williams will give the handoff to Kelly. Tackled at the five, third and goal coming up. Trying to keep Grambling out of the end zone. Despite what the scoreboard says, 
the eye in the sky being the cameras always running. Who's still going hard? Who's still giving great effort? Constant evaluation for this ASU Hornet coaching staff. Third and goal from the five, under eight to play, fourth quarter. Station is down the line. We're going to try to do everything we can to get these three breaks in here in the fourth quarter. Two receivers out of the side. Williams looking right, throws right, incomplete. Fourth down, pass intended for Gibson. Good coverage by Easterwood. So Orozco on for the field goal attempt for Grambling. Right in the middle of the field. A 22-yard attempt. Spot is down. Kick is up. And it is good with 7.35 to play in the ball game. It's Grambling 34, Alabama State 3 on the ASU Hornet Sports Network. Listen live each Thursday at 6 p.m. for the Wow Wing Swarm and Sting ASU Football Coaches Show with Brian Jenkins. Come and be a part of the live audience at the Eastdale Mall location or tune in weekly on the ASU Hornet Sports Network as we talk Hornet football. Come and enjoy great food and beverage specials as we get you ready for the upcoming game. That's the Wow Wing Swarm and Sting ASU Football Coaches Show Thursday at 6 p.m. here on the ASU Hornet Sports Network. Seven thirty-four remaining in the ball game. Grambling thirty-four, Alabama State three. Orozco set to kick off. Parks and Pritchett deep to receive for Alabama State. After the long drive to begin the fourth quarter for Grambling. Ball taken on the hop by Pritchard across the 20. Trying to fight forward to the 25. Unable to get there. Forward progress. Stops him at the 24. And that's where Alabama State will go on offense. But a flag on the play. Potentially will add five to the field position for the Hornets. Still waiting for the official word from Roderick Holloway. As Brian Jenkins discussing options with the officials. Offside on the kicking team. Five yards. Re-kick. So we'll re-kick, trying to give the Hornet return teams an opportunity to break off a big one here in the fourth quarter. Final score from Baton Rouge, Southern 50, Jackson State 31. A shootout out at Prairie View, Panthers 47, Alabama A&M 43, still 446 to play in the ballgame. Earlier final, Alcorn 55, Valley 14. 
That's where we'll be next Saturday night down in the heart of the Mississippi Delta. Score still holding in Arkansas, Texas Southern 24, Arkansas Pine Bluff 20. So Parks and Pritchard once again deep for Alabama State. We'll see if the Tigers will try to push this once again. Bridges in the middle in case of that short kick. Tigers will kick away. Pritchett will take it from the 10. Across the 20. 25-30. Trying to bounce outside across the 35. Return across the 40 to the 42-yard line. Nice 32-yard return by Robert Pritchett. Hornets will take over from our own 42-yard line. 7-17 remaining in the ball game. Again, constant evaluation. Needs some positive momentum going into next week's game on the road at Mississippi Valley State. Barring a miraculous comeback, be a battle of only three teams looking for their first win next Saturday night in Itabena, Mississippi. Two, three receivers right, one left. Toppings trying to buy some time. Does so, takes off across the 45. Still on his feet across midfield, still going. Inside the 35, great run for Toppings down to the Grambling 32-yard line. Gain of 26 on the run for Quintarius. Making his first start for Alabama State. 17 of 26 passing, 159 yards. But that great run moves the Hornets in the Grambling territory. We will step aside with 6.51 remaining. It's Grambling 31, Alabama State 3, or 34-3 here on the ASU Hornet Sports Network. This ASU Hornet Sports production is brought to you by Regions Bank, Coca-Cola, Alabama Power, Golden Flake, American Lube Fast, McQuick Printing, Wow Wing Sports Cafe, East Dale Mall, and Honey Baked Ham. Support the team that supports your Hornets. down 10 Alabama State from the Grambling 32 yard line after the big run by Quintarius Toppings. Hornets trying to get in the end zone for the first time tonight. Two receivers left, one right. Now Davis goes in motion. Face the handoff. Toppings falls forward to about the 27 yard line. Gain of five on that first down run. Javante Williams on the stop for Grambling. 6.35 and counting, fourth quarter. On his trail, 34-3. Two receivers left, one right. Davis once again going in motion left. Fumbles the football, recovered by Gramlin. We'll step aside with 6.19 remaining. Gramlin 34, Alabama State 3 on the ASU Hornet Sports. Network. 
Don't miss a minute of Swarm and Sting. Purchase your tickets for Hornet football in person at the ASU Ticket Office or by calling 334-229-4551. Single game tickets start at just $10 online. That's right, just $10 online at BamaStateSports.com forward slash tickets. The Hornets will host Southern on Saturday, October 10th at 6 p.m. at the ASU Stadium in the Breast Cancer Awareness Game. Get your tickets now! Nineteen to play in the ball game. Fumble turns the ball over back to Gramlin. Four receivers set for the Tigers. Carter running right, tripped up at about the 41, 42 yard line. Gain of about four. As Trevon Cherry now at quarterback for Grambling, under six minutes to play in the ball game. Let's close the book on Jonathan Williams, 20 of 37 passing, 284 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. He was sacked three times. Second down and six. Carter running right across the 45 to about the 46, third down and one coming up for Gramlin. Still a nice crowd on hand here at ASU Stadium. Cheering on this Hornet football team trailing by a score of 34 to three with 5.05 remaining in the ball game. Tigers letting the play clock run down 15 and counting. Two receivers left, two right. Both coaches starting to enter the bench. Fumble football on the ground. And the Hornets recover. Recovered by number 44, Ricky Haley. A 6'5", 245-pound freshman from Norfolk, Virginia. Recovers the ball for Alabama State. And we'll take that turnover. First and 10 Hornets from the Grambling 44-yard line. And now Ellis Richardson will come in at quarterback for Alabama State. Can we turn this turnover into points? Richardson, who started last week in at quarterback for the Hornets. Three receivers set. Throws a backwards pass. Double pass coming. Anderson throws. Incomplete. A little trickeration for the Hornets. But once again, perhaps a catchable ball dropped, this time by Lawrence Oliver. Slightly underthrown, but from this angle, I'm going to deem it catchable. And again, you have to make a play when there's a play to be made. Saw Nishi from the backwards pass here. It was going to be a double pass. Grambling secondary not fooled. But unfortunately, we could not make the catch. Second down, 10. From the Grambling 46, 440, or 44 rather, with 440 to play. Richardson on the run, trying to get outside, cuts it up, leaps the Grambling player inside the 35, plows down to the 31 yard line, gain of 13, first down, Alabama State. Richardson, a six foot three, 235 pound red shirt freshman from Villa Rica, Georgia. Let's 
So first and 10, we'll call it the 30 of Grambling State. Robinson up the middle, across the 20, near the 15-yard line. Gain of 16 on that first down run. Robinson, a 5'10", 200-pound senior from right here in Montgomery, a transfer from Sanford. Hornets in the red zone at the Grambling 16. Two receivers left, one right. Robinson offset right. Richardson on the keep. Falls forward to about the 13 of Grambling. Gain of three, second down, seven coming up. 3.45 to play in the ball game. Station standby for station ID after this play. Two receivers left, one right once again. Tight end offset left. Richardson throws left, caught. Bemis inside the 10. Stood up at the seven yard line. We'll stand by 10 seconds for station ID on the ASU Hornets Sports Network. Last pass completion to Wendell Archie here. Third down and one from the seven of Grambling. 301 to play in the ball game. Hornets trailing by a score of 34-3. Here on the ASU Hornet Sports Network, powered by Alabama State University. Opportunity is here. Richardson up the middle. First down and touchdown, Hornets. Touchdown! That was Richardson. On a seven yard touchdown run. Hornets! And the Hornets find pay dirt for the first time tonight. Good positive drive for Ellis Richardson and this Hornet offense. David Albert on for the extra point. Out of the hole of Sean Parks. Spot is down, kick is up, and it is good. Touchdown Hornets for the first time tonight. Cuts the score to 34-10. So the Hornets score in the fourth quarter for the first time this season. Good positive momentum. Scoring a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Six plays, 44 yards, two minutes and seven seconds. Seven yard touchdown run for Ellis Richardson. As the Hornets get a fourth quarter touchdown here versus Grambling. Kickoff goes into the end zone. Ball still alive. And Carter tackled inside the 10 at about the five yard line. With 2.36 remaining in the ball game. And the kicking tee hustled in by the legendary Peter Rabbit. All-time leading receiver in Hornet football history. One of the greats of Alabama State University. As the mighty marching Hornets continue to entertain with 2.36 remaining. Stand by for the American Lube Fast Hornets post game. We'll wrap up tonight's game, go through that swag scoreboard one more time, and get you set for next week's game at Mississippi Valley State. 
Kelly on the run for Grambling with the first down run up to the 16-yard line. Two twenty five and counting in the ball game. Tigers content to let the game clock and play clock run down. Five on the play clock under two oh five to play in the ball game. Kelly. Trying to move forward, trying to get to that 20-yard line. Stood up at the 19 with 150 and counting in the ball game. So the second annual Prince Hall Masons Americanism Football Classic will be won by the Grambling Tigers. Tigers with their first win of the season. Improved to 1-0 and in conference play. Tigers pick to win the West. Over the two-time defending division champ, Southern. West likely will come down to the annual Bayou Classic Showdown in New Orleans Thanksgiving weekend. Tigers stopped at the one last year. Southern held on to win. Went on to the Toyota Swag Championship game, losing to Alcorn State. A lot of great football still ahead in this conference. Still some better days ahead for ASU football under min minutes of play here in the ball game, trailing by a score of 34 to 10. Tigers letting the play clock run down now at 10 seconds with 40 on the game clock. About just about a 30 second difference between play clock and game clock. This should be the final snap of the game. Kelly brought down at the 25-27 yard line. Clock will stop momentarily to move the chains for the first down. Clock restarts with 25. And that should be the final play of the ball game. So another strong effort for Alabama State. Still some work to do execution-wise. As the play clock runs down. And your final score, Grambling State 34. And Alabama State 10. The American Lou Fast Hornets postgame is next here on the ASU Hornets Sports Network. Welcome to Hornets pregame, presented by American Lou Fast. Your final score, 